before I step aside. He cannot see the kingdom of God. Now, one of the things the Lord is desiring to bring to the prophetic house is distinction. And that distinction, in one of the ways it's going to be manifested, is as answers. While I was praying, the Lord said that to me. So I told you. And when I entered, Apostle was saying, you cannot receive from God. And he was, uh, he was breaking and elaborating the mystery in receiving from the Lord. And he said something. He said, you cannot receive until you ask. And while I was praying and meditating, the Lord said to me, he said, one of the things I want to bring to the genuine prophetic house is the restoration of those days. You know, one of the signs of a true prophet, according to the scriptures, is that the things he said must come to pass. As a matter of fact, when a man prophesies and it doesn't come to pass, the scripture says, don't regard him. Neither regard his prophecies. No, this is weighty. Beyond being fluent. You know, if you have the scriptures, you will prophesy because the word of God, you know what prophecy is? Prophecy is like a bubbling. Am I speaking here? You are filled with the word and there is this bubbling out. It comes on you is an overflow and then you begin to prophesy it's of the word of god from within you so if you're filled with the scriptures and with the holy spirit one of the signs is that you should prophesy but the lord is saying to us today in this house that we should be not just prophets but we should be prophets. Listen, I'm not emphasizing answers and results because that's one of the things that leads to error. But I'm emphasizing the reality that our messages must be confirmed. And the Lord walking with them, confirming the word. The sign is the word of God is that Jesus confirms it. Because it is only his word that he confirms. When you speak your word, he has nothing to confirm. And we must understand that technology. Sir, when I entered, you were speaking, I said, what am I going to say again? Honestly. Honestly. The spirit of the Lord is one. We must understand the spiritual technology of receiving from the Lord. And one of those things and one of those requirements is that you must ask. You must ask. There is a call for intercessors. There is a call for intercessors. We need to prophesy. It's important. It's the word of God. But there are men that should be somewhere. Lord, we don't even want to be seen. As is to see to it that the words of Samuel never fell to the ground. That's my body. That it will not get to a point that men would begin to ridicule the operations of God in our lives. There is a call for intercessors. Here this God wants to do something. There is a call for intercessors. Men that will say, prophet i will prophesy if the lord gives me a word but much more important than that i want to stand like anna the prophetess and hide somewhere in the temple and say thy kingdom come until i see the salvation of israel He says, when you have a desire, he said, ask in prayer and believe that you have received and you shall what? You shall have. You shall have those things. Now, listen to this. God does not respond to your desire alone. God responds to your prayer. The hard desire of the righteous shall be what? 
granted. But that heart desire must be expressed in the place of prayer. There is a call for intercessors. For the house of Salem, there is a call. For people that will say, beyond the eloquence of the prophet, I can see Jesus crying for men that will stand and say, like Samuel, these words will not fall to the ground. Will not. Not in my watch. This is very important. Because even in the old covenant, I hear in my spirit that is a new season. That beyond the desire to manifest, there will be a desire to wait for him. And that's why I love the ministry of God's prophet. I don't want to say some things. I don't want to say some things. Honestly, if I were to start speaking, some of you would misunderstand it. It's not man worship. I've known the prophet for quite some time. And one of the things I know about him is that he's not in a hurry. It's not, he, he, will say, he will say, man of God, is not your time. Until the time of his showing forth. The Lord is calling us. The Lord is calling us. Back to the place of intercession. He says, when you pray, say, thy will will be done. It's important. It's important. This is your will, Lord. But let me be that man that will say, thy will be done. This is the burden of the Lord. It has been on my heart for over a month now. And everywhere I have the mic, I must say this. If it is important, Jesus won't ask you to pray. Lord, there is something you want to do through the house of Salem. Thy will be done. There is a call. Can you just bow your heads and pray wherever you are? Holy one, the way you love me, the way you care for me, is within my belly. I know, go lie. The things you do, is sweeting my belly. I know, is sweeting my belly. I know, go lie. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It's important I say this. Now please, listen. Two minutes and I'll step aside. The answers <laughs> we are talking about that the Lord wants to bring is not just physical manifestations. Are we together? Now hear this. God is spirit. God is spirit. And God is not a sense God. And he responds and he answers by spirit. Yes. Our desire should not just be manifestations alone. Are you aware that prophecy is also one of the ways that the Lord answers prayer? There are two ways. I'm going to explain now quickly. Through which God answers prayer. Number one, when you pray, God is a spirit. Certain times, there, you don't need to see manifestations. You know, Elijah said to his servant, he said, go and check. There was no rain. All he saw was a sign. And as prophets, we've been trained to know what signs are. Yes. Revelation chapter 1, he says, the, he said, these are revelations of God, who, which he gave by Christ. And he signified by the hand of an angel to his servant, John. Now, the, the word there is signified. As a prophet, we are trained to understand what signs are. Especially the signs from the heart of the Father. Now, when the Lord brings us into a place of understanding signs, and God brings us into a dimension where we can recognize signs, hear this. There is no answer stronger for a spiritual man 
than science. I don't need to see the rain. Before I know, you are not here. Now listen to this. God has answered the prayer of Africa. It's not until we see stadiums filled that we know I'm a cause a style. The hunger in your heart to sit and ah uh, is a sign that something is happening in the realm of the spirit. That desire for accuracy is a sign that there is an answer to the prayers. He said, all I see is a hand like a cloud. He said, you have seen well. Go and tell them that this is a sound of abundance of rain. A sign. A sign. Yeah, this a sign is enough there. A sign. A sign. Blessed are they that hunger. Are you aware that hunger is a sign? Is a sign. Is a sign. One of the ways the Lord answers your prayer, one of the signs He gives you is that He quickens the word to your spirit. Quickens the word to your spirit. All of a sudden, you are praying in the place of prayer. A word is quickening you. For he will not let his holy one see corruption. Yes. Suddenly the word begins to minister to you. Is a sign. Yes. There is no time. The second sign that he has answered your prayer. Is that suddenly there is, there is an outburst of prophetic words. And these words of prophecies, uh, they are signs that something has happened in the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. Now look at what prophecy is, a, a side and a part of prophecy. You know there is something called, oh God, let's not go into that. Now, the Lord needs your words because it is written and he chose to give man dominion over the earth. There are things that are settled in heaven, but it needs the word of a man. The Bible says the heavens of the heavens are of the Lord, but the earth has he given to the sons of men. So when the Lord quickens words of prophecies in your spirit, he's trying to say, partner with me so that the things that be in the spirit can be spoken into existence. And that's why our prophecy should be more of admonitions. And not condemnations. Because what we stand to do is to agree with the Lord that that which has been done in the spirit 